I have changed my shirt purely to make you believe that this was filmed on a different day from the Wumi video. Totally the same day. Let's get on with it. I'd like to talk about the filament wetting device. Basically, this is a device that takes the, the fiber and puts some resin on it. That's all it really has to do. But it's important that there be enough resin for that fiber to stick to the fibers next to it, but not enough that the uh, material starts behaving more like a plastic and not like a carbon fiber, piece of carbon fiber, basically. So, the basic outline of the wetter is simple. Get that out of the way. The fiber comes in, goes around a roller, which is actually just a fixed pin for simplicity, goes down to another pin, back up around a pin. This pin has a squisher on it, which is basically an arm and a pivot with a little bit of a spring. So the resin level is about here. So the filament goes underneath the resin, comes back up, and then excess is squeezed away here, which then drips back down into the resin pot, which is just a plastic cup. This fiber can be pulled through and it wets itself as it comes out. By adjusting the spring tension, you get just the right amount squeezed out. Here is the little guy, which is the smaller of the uh, uh, filament wetters that I've made. You can see the little pivot arm with its little spring, all that business. I'll try and get a nice close up here. Let me peer around. Whoa. You can see the little arm on a spring, the lower pin, in pin, down, around and out. It also has this little stabilizer here so that when you pull the filament out sideways it doesn't fall off the roller. The roller or the uh, pins do have little grooves in them just to keep the filament centralized as it goes through the entire setup. This just bolts to a piece of vertical wood ready to rumble. That's basically the entire operation of the filament wetter very simple. The design of it does have to be slightly varied depending on the size of the roving that you use. That one I showed you is meant for 2 to 4k rovings, which is basically 2 to 4,000 filaments per roving. Um, I've made another one to work with 12 to 24k, which is slightly bigger. Uh, the bigger the roving, the easier and faster it is to make the tube but then of course you don't get the intricacies of putting the fiber exactly where you want. So for some components, it's better to use the 2 to 4K towels. For other components, like the big long tubes, the down tube, stuff like that, you want to use the higher K fibers. But that's actually a topic for another video. So I'm going to leave it there. That's basically the entire operation of the filament wetter right there. In and out, I guess wet on the one end, Japan.